Okay, so we all know that the Raiders have a problem at quarterback, but we also have a problem when it comes to the running back. And I want to talk about that today because I think that the Raiders are setting up in a great position to solve both of these problems in the 2025 NFL Draft. And I know that a lot of people are talking about Shador Sanders. I've talked about Shador Sanders and the connection to Tom Brady, but I honestly believe that Cam Ward is going to be the better quarterback going forward for the Raiders simply because of his ability to escape the pocket and make these big passes. Now, I've already made a video on this, so I'm not going to go super deep into Cam Ward, but I did just want to say that the Raiders right now have the sixth, sixth overall draft pick. So if the draft were to happen tomorrow, according to a lot of draft projections, Cam Ward would be available at number six and the Raiders would pick him. So Let's look and see what the Raiders are going to do throughout the rest of the season. Will we move up the draft board because we continue to lose games? Or will the Raiders win a bunch of meaningless games, miss the playoffs, and also miss out on drafting our franchise quarterback moving forward with the Las Vegas Raiders? I want to know your guys' thoughts on this, so drop a comment down below. Do you think the Raiders should tank and get a franchise quarterback, or do you still believe in Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell moving into next year? Or maybe even Desmond Ritter. Drop a comment, let me know. Now let's talk about the running back situation because our running back situation since moving off of Josh Jacobs has been abysmal at best and everybody knows this in the NFL that we cannot run the ball. Part of that is due to the offensive line, but a lot of it also has to do with the fact that we don't have a bell cow running back. Now Alexander Madison has been the best option for the Raiders so far in the 2024 NFL season, but even then, Alexander Madison is not a star running back. He is just a decent running back. And I maybe if he gets enough snaps, maybe he'll turn into a star. But I'm just not seeing that happen at this point right now in his career. What Alexander Madison is to me is a great third down option. Because he's so good in the pass game that you can run RPOs with him, you can run play actions with him, you can throw him uh, running back screens, all of these things are really good, but we need a bell cow. We need our, our, our Josh Jacobs true replacement because Zamir White is not it. He's not going to be it. He has too many issues with hitting the wrong hole, running into defenders, and not being able to pick up big yards. He also doesn't have any top-end speed. In comes the 2025 NFL Draft in round number two, where the Raiders right now will have a high second-round draft pick. In the in um, Oklahoma State's running back, who was the best the who was the best in last year's NFL draft, and that is Ollie Gordon the second. Now Ollie Gordon the second put up over 1,700 yards, over 20 touchdowns last year, and he could have come out of the NFL had he been eligible, and he would have been probably an early second round, maybe late first round draft pick, as he was clearly the best in college football last year at the running back position, but he did not come out. He played another year, and this year he's had a bit of a down year. He's only at about 562 yards right now as of the recording of this video, and that's gonna put him somewhere around 1,200 rushing yards this year if he continues on the same similar trajectory and probably about 16 to 17 touchdowns. So fewer yard production, his average yards per carry has gone down, still very reputable at over four yards per carry, and his touchdowns have gone down as well. But here's the upside to a guy like Ollie Gordon the second. Now everybody is talking about Ashton Genty, the Boise State phenom. Um, he will be probably picked number 10 or 11 in the draft. And a lot of projections actually have the Cincinnati Bengals trying to pick him up. And so he's not going to be available for the Raiders unless the Raiders were to try and move back into the second round after picking our franchise quarterback in order to get Ashton Genty. So with that being the case, we've got to be looking at the second best option out there. And the second best option, in my opinion, could end up having a better career in the NFL than actually Ashton Genty because... Ollie Gordon II has that prototypical NFL bell cow running back body. At six foot two, 225 pounds, three years in his collegiate career, no major injuries, and he has done nothing but produce. Again, this year is a down year for him after his standout year last year, 
However, even in a down year, he's going to probably put up over 1,200 yards and 16 to 17 touchdowns on the ground, plus a few through the air, because he's also got really good hands and he can catch the ball out of the backfield. So he's going to fall to the second round. He won't be a first round draft pick. And there's a couple of reasons why, and we got to get into those, of what is the potential danger of drafting Ollie Gordon II, and we're going to touch into that. But first, I, I just want to ask you guys this. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, why do you not love the Raiders? And if you do love the Raiders and you love daily Raiders content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. And I would truly, truly, truly appreciate it because we've reached over... Uh, 12, or we've reached over 10,000 subscribers and our new goal is to hit 15,000 subscribers before the end of the season. And it takes all of us to pull together to do that. So please like the video if you've gotten any value out of it and consider subscribing as well. Much, 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 much appreciated. Now let's, let's talk about some of the negatives when it comes to Ollie, Gor Ollie Gordon the uh, second or Big O is what they call him in college. Big O has the size that you want. He's, he's a one cut guy. He's very good at reading the hole, making his decision, cutting through it, and then just picking up big yards. He also has top end speed, which even Ashton Genty doesn't have. And uh, Josh, Josh Jacobs never had. And Alexander Madison doesn't have. And Zamir White definitely doesn't have. So he's faster than all of them, though we don't know his official 40 yet. You can just tell by watching the fact that he outruns DBs on a continual basis, that he has a very high 40. Uh, I'm going to say he's right around a 4-4, four, four, just guessing. We'll see when he does his pro day or when he goes to the combine. So those are all the key pluses with him. He's hard to bring down. He's got the big prototypical body, but he has a couple negatives, and I want to talk about those. My only concerns with bringing Big O to the Raiders in the second round uh, and spending a second round draft pick on him. And remember, a second round draft pick is a very valuable uh, pick. We're not talking like seventh round uh, picks here. We're talking number the, the second round. He has apparently been arrested and charged for a DUI back in July. And this is a big concern. Now, obviously, we're talking, we're talking about this in October. So he's still on the team. He's still playing and he's apparently worked that out, but he did get pulled over for speeding doing 85 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone. And he, the officer smelled alcohol on his breath, did a search of the car and found some whiskey and I believe vodka or tequila, something like that in the truck, uh, of his, of his Cadillac of his GMC Cadillac. You combine the speed with being intoxicated. Now he did breathe a 0 .111 uh, at the jail. Don't know what their legal limit there is in Oklahoma. Maybe it all got washed away. But this is my biggest concern with him is when you come to Las Vegas, Las Vegas is a tourist town. It's a vacation town. It's a gambling town. And if you have any type of issue with alcohol or any type of intoxication, Las Vegas could be a very, very negative place for you. Remember, we've already lost players due to the, the alcohol and the speeding. Even Nate Hobbs uh, got a DUI, even though he wasn't driving. He was just passed out in his car, parked in a parking lot. He still ended up getting a DUI. I think they were able to plead it down and get it, most of it dismissed. But this is the issue when you come to Las Vegas. It's a party town. And if he has any inclination towards that type of a lifestyle, that could be a negativity for him. So I think that this is going to be one of those situations where whoever the coaching staff is going to be for 2025 and GM Tom Telesco, they're going to have to sit down in their meetings with him and really discuss the DUI situation, what he's done about it and why that's not going to happen if they draft him to the Raiders. And if they get satisfactory answers, I think you absolutely take the chance on him because of the DUI and because he's had a bit of a down year versus his standout year last year, we could even trade back in the second round instead of being high in the second round. I think we, we'd be like the sixth pick in the second round if it happened tomorrow. We could trade back to like the 15th pick and still get big O. And now we have solved our quarterback problem with Cam Ward and we've solved, uh, solved 
our lack of a running back problem in Big O because if you guys remember Darren McFadden, this guy reminds me a lot of Darren McFadden. He's tall, he's lanky, he has great balance. He is a one cut downhill type of guy who's gonna pick you up yards every single time. And he's got that top end speed that if he gets out into space, it's a home run almost guaranteed. And the only issue that we have with Darren McFadden is the fact that he could not stay healthy. He continuously was injured. Whereas with Big O, he doesn't have any major injuries thus far in his collegiate career, not a lot of wear and tear on his body. So I think it would be a great addition to the Raiders. Guys, if you agree with me, drop a comment down below. And if you disagree, drop a comment down below and tell me why and who would be your bell cow pick 